This is called a carbon fiber AFO. Uh, we're going to demonstrate how to put this on and off correctly. This is an anterior, or what that means is the front. This goes on the front of your leg. Uh, there's two different kinds that we normally use. One is in the front, and one goes on the posterior, the back side. Um, there's pros and cons to both of them. The nice thing with the carbon is they're very lightweight, fit into a shoe very easily. Um, and they're mainly used for someone that has um, drop foot or a little bit of knee instability with drop foot. We're going to demonstrate how this goes on. Um, first things first, you got to make sure you have a shoe the AFO can fit into. Yeah, orthotist can obviously grind this and cut this. We've already set this up to fit correctly into the shoe. So we're going to demonstrate how that works. Inside of any shoe, the first thing you want to do is take out the insert that comes with the shoe. The reason for that is once this is actually inside of the shoe, we want to put this on top, make it a little bit more comfortable so you're not standing on top of carbon. So how that works is this will slide into the shoe like so. It'll scroll down into the bottom. And then we want to take the insert, put this on top, get that down correctly inside of the shoe. So if you were to change this to another shoe, you want to make sure you're doing this process. You use this from one tennis shoe to another, or maybe you have dress shoes on like I do and you're you know using this for work or for the gym. You want to make sure you switch that. Best to have a shoe with laces or Velcro. Does not work good with slip-on shoes. The reason for that is we can't tighten this down over your foot. So we kind of use the laces and the Velcro as a second strap to really keep your foot on top of the AFO. Otherwise, a lot of times if it's just a slip-on, patients get this where their foot is moving inside of there and they're losing a lot of functionality of the AFO. As far as this goes on, the nice thing with the anterior or the front, the patient can easily slide their foot in from the back. So we're going to show how Josh can easily slide his foot in. So obviously that was very easy for him. Next step is we take these two straps. So these loop around the back side of the leg. And then there's a little chafe here. So this just loops through. You want to make sure this is tight against his shin. And then there's a little Velcro that just attaches the brace. Second strap, exact same concept. We'll go through the little chafe. And loop back onto itself. Obviously, we would cut these based off of the person's length. That's why they come very long. And the final step is, whether you have laces or Velcro, tighten up the shoe. And again, we want to make sure that this is pretty tight. Um, because we're kind of using this as another strap down here to really keep the AFO against your foot inside of the shoe. That's how we put on an AFO. Again, very simple, easy, effective carbon fiber AFO. Um, you'll usually hear people call this an anterior carbon AFO. Um, some people will call it a walk-on, other things of that nature. Taking it off on Velcro. Usually I'll tell patients, Velcro this back on in here so this is just not hanging. Um, try to keep it clean so you don't get lint and dog hair in there. Same thing with the bottom strap. Unlace your shoe or on Velcro. And then find your shoe out, get your foot out. And most people would leave the brace in their shoe like this. So it's just sitting inside of the shoe. The next time they put it on, they just slide their foot in. That's how you put on a carbon fiber AFO.